Low volume training is the secret no one talks about when lifting as a natural. Almost all my gains have come from 9 to 12 weekly sets for any body part I want to grow. Many programs you purchase or see online for free trick you into thinking you need around 20 sets or even sometimes more to have optimal growth when in reality it's probably the less the better especially if you were just starting out now if you were like me you used to watch rich piana cali muscle and similar personalities on youtube which they just smashed a body part into oblivion to no return and then it would grow if you don't know what i'm talking about make sure you watch rich piana's eight hour arm workout which is still on youtube which is uh, just incredible. One of my deep dark secrets, a lot of people have probably heard of this, but um, it's basically an eight hour arm workout and it's made up of 16 mini workouts every half an hour throughout the day for eight hours straight, killing your arms. And yes, it's eight hours long. Whether he actually does this or not consistently, I don't know. All I know is these types of videos originally shaped my idea of what training must be like. But I didn't realize a couple things. One, Rich Piana has a lot more training experience than me, so he can handle a lot more volume. And two, he's absolutely sauced out of his mind, but little John didn't think about that. All I saw was a big dude on YouTube with huge muscles telling me about how he got big and how he works out his arm for eight hours. So of course I did that in high school, and guess how I looked? Like this, with little twig arms. But as I started to gain more knowledge, experiment more in the gym, actually get results, I realized one thing that rings true for a lot of naturals. Not everyone, but a lot of naturals. The less volume, the better. Now I'm not talking about like three sets per week, but nine to 12 weekly sets is gonna be most of the training volume you will need to reach a great physique. Nine to 12 weekly hard sets will be what you need. What does the low volume approach allow you to do? Train hard, train sets close to failure, and not have to worry about too much fatigue. You can't train hard on every single set if you have like 20 arm sets and a workout. It'll feel like you're training hard, your arms are gonna be burning and on fire, but it's junk volume since it's way below your typical workload, your typical work capacity if you're fresh. We are trying to build muscle. We're not working on our cardio, although, I really should, honestly. You probably should too. Not knowing I shouldn't train like Cali Muscle or Rich Piana is what kept me stagnant for a long time in my beginning stages. Also, not knowing I should just eat more was keeping me small in my skinny mini phase. If your volume is lower, you can put in more effort. Why, mentally, would you wimp out on three hard sets of bench press and that's all the chest work you're going to do for the day? You wouldn't because you know you only have three sets of bench press to do. What if you had bench press, inclined press, dips, flies, and then like decline pushups to failure. I bet your intensity would look so much different. It would look a lot different if you were to train all those on the same day. I bet you wouldn't go as hard because you have a lot more exercises and volume you need to get through. It's going to feel like you need to get through something. So you're just going to go through the motions. You're not going to train with intensity. As a natural lifter, it's my belief you want to train right at the point of diminishing returns. You can make great gains from 9 to 12 weekly sets, but anything past that is minimal progress and you're just impacting your recovery. It might actually be worse. You could go up to 20 sets per week, but at what cost, honestly? Longer workouts, worse recovery, without much extra size gained. Just more time in the gym. Minimal size gained for all that extra work. If you're competing in bodybuilding, if this is your passion, this advice is not for you. But if you are like me, you like lifting, you enjoy it, but you don't like having three hour sessions, Stay right or a little before the point of diminishing returns, which in my opinion is 9 to 12 weekly sets. Plus, when you start low, and as I have stated before, you can easily bump up volume just by adding one set per week, then you're back on the gain train. If you're already at 20 sets, then you have a lot of other training variables to play with that you need to play with. If you start with nine sets a week, milk that for years, and then when you notice you are starting to stall, just finally add a set or two into your workout, and then you have like 10% more volume. If you need a workout to get started, check out my Big Boy Basics video, which is a whole program in itself, and you can download the free template on my website and also book some coaching calls there on atalafit.com. Now what finally put me on the right path was Michael Matthews' Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, which I have a review of here. Even though I don't like the bro split, which is in Michael Matthews' book. Look at this volume for a beginner lifter and his book. Chest day, three sets of incline barbell bench press, three sets of incline dumbbell press, 
and then seat three sets of flat barbell bench. That's nine weekly sets and that's it. That's just the example workout, but I hope you get the message. Let's look at the leg day. Barbell squat, three sets. Leg press, three sets. Romanian deadlift, three sets. And then a calf workout. That's it. How many of you have your workouts look like this? Probably not many because I know you're squatting and then doing a Bulgarian split squat and then doing a, let's say, lying leg curl machine. And then you have to do hip thrusts and then you have to do the good girl, bad girl machine. And then you maybe are doing calves and then you're maybe doing lunges, right? That's like seven exercises. It's too much. You don't need that much to grow, especially in a single workout. Do that when you are an elite. If you really enjoy working out, really pushing yourself and really trying to get that little extra bit of muscle growth. I bet you will do better with 9 to 12 hard weekly sets. Now I was originally memeing, but there is a muscle and strength workout routine I found that is basically what I just said. Let me pull this up for you guys. This is a five day Monday through Friday workout routine. Let's just scroll down to the legs. Five sets of barbell back squat for six reps. So five by five, nothing terrible. Romanian deadlift, four sets of eight to 12. If you're taking those failure, you're gonna be tore up. And then you're going to go leg press, three sets of 10 to 15. It doesn't say how hard, so I'm assuming hard. Leg curls, three sets of 12 to 15. Walking lunges, three sets or 15 each. And then you do calf raises. You are getting a ton of volume on that day. If you're going hard or to failure on this workout, you're going to be so burnt. Have fun walking the next day. No, thank you. And then your gains are probably worse because you're just absolutely destroying the muscle when really you just need little micro tears to repair. Now, how do you get nine to 12 weekly sets easily? A three day full body split, like my big boy basics is recommended. Upper lower split is also great. You could do a bro split or a push pull leg split, but regarding the bro split, you'd probably benefit from being in the gym less and having more frequency and push pull leg split. You're in the gym six days a week. So I also don't recommend that because that's just a lot of time. If you still don't believe low volume training will work for you, check out how I got my arms to 16 and a half inches. They're even bigger now by only doing nine weekly sets. Peace.